Before we begin, I would like Carly and Budgie to take a moment to capture this memory. Look around at your friends and family who have traveled near and far to help you both celebrate your love. Remember each other's faces, look out at this beautiful backdrop, and take a mental picture. Actually, you know what? We can do one better. For those of you who don't know, Carly and Alex have a tradition, one that has graced the walls of their apartment in Portland, Maine, a selfie wall to capture all the moments in their lives, both big and little. And Alex thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to add the ultimate selfie. So, smile. When our family bought Pohut in our first summer of 1993, Carly was four, almost five. And we like to joke that she basically ran the place. Hard to picture that, right? Now, 26 years later, and not surprisingly, she actually does. You may not know this, but a few years ago, Carly chose to get her master's in camp administration and leadership. She didn't have to go this path, but she chose to, despite some big shoes to fill with her mom, boss, Moss. Carly likes to call her Lisa. How can it be that a girl from Cape Elizabeth, Maine, can meet a guy from the Los Angeles Valley in Israel and be so perfect for each other? Well, my mother had a word for it, and it's a Yiddish word called beshecht. And beshecht loosely means Fate. Call it fate, luck, stubbornness, but for whatever reason, we found each other seated just rows apart on bus TL30713 on an eight-day trip to Israel. Here we go. <laughs> Alex, exactly four years ago today, you, Sarah, Eric, Hannah, and I landed in Israel. You having almost just missed the flight and wearing the most shocking red wind pants I've ever seen. And me attached to Hannah's hip and completely stunned with even myself that I was actually in Israel, that I had actually gotten on that plane. Almost exactly three years ago, 11 months and three weeks ago, today, my mom and I had the one and only fight we have ever had in our lives. We were actually right here at camp when my mom told me there was no rush to go on this crazy birthright trip, that I should wait and I should go again in a few months once the Gaza war had ended. She told me that I was being selfish and inconsiderate, <laughs> stubborn and silly, very much maybe like what she would have done herself. I said over and over again, like I still say to this day, that something told me I had to go on that trip. It was just a feeling I could not and would not shake. Later in the trip, we were in the, the desert of Negev. Most everyone had gone off to bed or to stargaze. You, me, and for some reason, stray dog, found ourselves in the near pitch black standing out outside of our camp talking. I don't remember what, much of what was said, but at that moment, that instant, where you and I crossed paths, it was just magical. And I'll never forget how she talked about that really nice guy she met, how when they walked through the Holocaust Memorial and she cried most of the way, or how when she got bat mitzvah and she also cried most of the time, he was by her side. She mentioned how you walked behind her from the group, comforting her along the way. And I knew that Carly had met someone really special. Someone who sees her not just as the fun, outgoing, strong woman that we all do, but someone vulnerable and emotional. Then when she told me about your first date to the Red Sox game, I knew you were a keeper. Hi! Hi. Hi, how are you? You look so handsome. How was your day? I missed you. Oh, great. Thank you.
Each of us remembers our first moments watching Carly and Alex as a couple. I will never forget the eight days I got to spend watching their love story, chapter one. Being a part of their love story is a gift I will always cherish. I'm lucky. I get three relationships out of them. Alex, as the brotherly figure I love to laugh with. Carly, as the never say no friend who will always go with me on the greatest adventures. And Carly and Alex, as the couple, who always welcome me as their third wheel. Carly, you're my very best friend in the whole world. Being with you these past few years is better than anything I ever thought possible. You make even the most mundane tasks exciting and enjoyable. We could be stuck in traffic or watching paint dry, but as long as we're together, it would truly be an adventure. I quickly figured out, Alex, that you were so much more than just a cute guy. Smart, talented, kind, generous, thoughtful, caring, and funny, the list goes on. When trying to pick just one thing about you that really stands out to me, I had to say it is truly the way you understand me. It's like you speak Carly. Alex, you are the perfect person for me. You are my person. I can think of no other individual I would rather continue this journey on than with you. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you more than I will ever be able to express, and I'm so proud to now call myself your wife. I love you, Carly. Always and forever. Lisa and I want to thank you for joining us on this very special occasion celebrating the marriage of two of the best people in the world. Living while you got life to live and love while you got love to live. I know if my dad was here today, if our father was here, that not only would he be super proud of your new bride, but he would be overwhelmed with joy about the man that you've become. I've been really nervous for this speech, not because I don't love talking about Carly and Alex, and not to mention that I'm married to a comedy writer, so that sets the bar kind of high. But, <laughs> because I so badly wanted to convey how much I do love Carly and Alex, and I love talking about them. Because to quote Carly, they're just the best. I love you both so much. I want to make a toast. Carly and Budgie. Carly, welcome to the Vargas family. Good luck and Godspeed.
traditional response to the glass breaking is loud shouts of Mazel Tov. Without further ado, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the great state of Maine, it's my privilege and pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Rajiv, you may now kiss your bride. Yeah.